Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is GigApps Exposed here on YouTube and uh, wanted to let you guys know, I'm sure some of you have heard of this, maybe not, uh, but we're going to get right into it. This is uh, a new program that DoorDash has offered. Dashers, right? Across the board. <clears throat> and there won't be really anything you can do about it except try to sue them in court for this, which we all should because... We're all told we're uh, independent contractors, huh? Well, if they're making all these programs to make it hard for you to make money, how can you call it be calling yourself independent, which you're not? You're an employee with benefits. So with that said, I want to just uh, say that um, a couple of channels have already, you know, talked about this, and I have to talk about it because <laughs> for the nature of my channel, you know what I mean? You guys need to know what's going on. But uh, big shout out to Zach Drives Fast, which I'm going to play a video in this video after I go over some of this stuff because <clears throat> I want you guys to see the take on it and I'll critique that a little. But anyways, um, so <clears throat> this is um, this comes straight from DoorDash's website. OK, it says Dasher Rewards Program Pilot. Overview. We created Dasher Rewards to give the Dashes like you the recognition you deserve for high quality deliveries on the road along with more flexibility and opportunities to earn now on the surface that sounds great doesn't it folks but it's all a ploy to get rid of this this program is basically to get rid of all the older dashes who've been around for a long time even going back since the beginning of doordash um out in san francisco because there's some people that still do it around the country. Been on ever since the beginning. Then you have new people that have come on. And they don't like the fact that you're not, that some of us are cherry picking and we're not taking the orders that they want us, but what we want. You, It's such a joke, folks, because none of us are independent. We're employees, right? It's kind of funny, though, how they. Remember how I talked about everything? about how I said that these companies all follow suit one after another. They all do the same thing. It's because they all attend the same annual meetings in uh, World Economic Forum and all these secret meetings they do. It's important to know that because Uber has it. Um, uh, Door DoorDash is implementing it. Lyft has this program. But isn't it funny how Lyft and Uber, right, the ride share companies, are basically doing the same what the delivery companies are doing. And they're also, what's what's amazing to note is that when you get a delivery, say you get one that says $10 for 10, mile, uh, 10 miles, right? Uh, that's basically what they offer, and even less than that. I mean, you'll see $6 offers going 10 miles, stuff like that, on ride share, and the same thing with delivery. Why is that the same? I mean, it's two separate things. I mean, it's a service industry. One's a delivery, and one is where you're carrying passengers, right? All right, so knowing the background of what they're doing here, let's get into it. <clears throat> Frequently asked questions. What is the Dasher Rewards program pilot? Dasher Rewards is currently being offered as a pilot program with certain rewards and features only available in the following locations. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Corpus Christi, Texas, and Lubbock, Texas. This pilot program consolidates the following existing programs. On You hear that, what that says? This consolidates the following existing programs under the program with the unified qualification criteria across acceptance rate, <clears throat> completion rate, and customer rating. Now, what does that mean, folks? That means that they're going to do away. They've, they're doing away with Top Dasher. They're doing away with with the large order program, which in essence is good, but it's not because it's the same thing. They're not doing away with it. That's a lie. They're making people jump through more hoops in order to achieve the money that they think that they deserve. In other words, well, you, you have to take a whole bunch of no tip and low tip orders, and then we'll give you some good ones. Yeah, well, we've all been testing that for a while, and that, that plan hasn't worked, has it, folks? Uh, this is um, this is atrocious. This is where class action lawsuits have to be imp implemented like pronto by everyone. 
Okay. Um, okay, let's go. Let's let me just hit the top down. Okay. Oh, this is what they're noting. In other words, uh, what I just read to you with the consolidating, it says top dasha, priority access, large order program, and early ske- early access scheduling, and VIP support. So basically, <clears throat> they want you to do it their way rather than your way. Okay. Now. Let's read. You can access the Dasher re- Rewards page on your Dasher app where you can view the current status and rewards you currently have unlocked to qualify for the Dasher program pilot. Dashes in the pilot markets must meet, meet, must meet minimum requirements across customer ratings, acceptance rate and completion rate. <clears throat> so if you can't do things your way, how can you be considered an independent contractor? It's such a joke. It's such a brainwashing campaign they got going, don't they, folks? Um, Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, it's it's no different from Uber. Uber already has this. I'm actually a gold on Uber, but not because I went to achieve it. What's a joke is I have only had two or three orders in the past week that I actually took. I'm like I'm like three percent, I think, on on acceptance rate on Uber, and I'm a platinum. That that tells you something. I'm sorry, I'm a gold. That tells you something, doesn't it, folks? All right. Um, ooh, look at gold level. Increased priority for high-paying orders. VIP dash of support. Early access scheduling. All right. Now, let me let me put my own two cents in here. Remember how I told you that acceptance rate and stuff does not matter in my market? Well, that's true. And forgive the background noise there. I'm uh, actually doing laundry. <laughs> I'm multitasking doing a uh, video while I'm doing that. Because i got to go out in a little while and go dash like a good little slave, like we all do, right, to make a little money. <laughs> the summer's been <clears throat> horrendous, folks. Anyways, my, t- my opinion on this, and I don't know for sure until it comes my way, and I'm hoping not for a long time because they're testing it in those three markets I mentioned, right? Michigan, Lubbock, Texas, and uh, what's the other one? I can't remember. But anyways, <clears throat> the thing is, they may, may in fact, be actually implementing this now so that you do have to go and do all of these things to get these levels. <clears throat> and possibly you may see some orders. In other words, if you're in the large order program right now, you don't have to worry about Top Dash or anything else because the, the computer kicks out. I've told you guys before, I could sit for an hour and all of a sudden... These other idiots will be going, taking 325s, 475s, whatever, going 8 miles, whatever, 10 miles, 15, whatever. And I'll just sit and I'll get something for $24 or 21 Why go chase all those little rabbits with the carrots on the stick, which you'll never catch, um, to make up that 20 something dollars that I made going only 4 miles down the street and I got it instantly. See, what they're trying to do is take away... The first of all, all of all of the oh look at this they're telling me I'm scheduled oh yes I'm scheduled in thirty minutes okay so what they what they're telling everyone is that oh we're gonna reward you if you do this if you do that right or with large order though you, okay it's only certain people can be in that club remember I told you before folks that these these um clubs and all this stuff is is all meant to segregate people and you know why should one person get something that another one doesn't get now a lot of us have been dashing and forgive my voice it's my asthma and everything it's the summertime and those fires up in canada and the pollen that's what's i'm sure some of you know what i'm talking about (laughs) anyways we, a lot of us who are full-timers have been on for a long time, or even if you're a part-timer and you've been doing this for a long time, and you have your own system on how you try to beat their system, um, but, you're, but you've been a good little boy or girl, and you have, you know, thousands of deliveries, shouldn't we already be rewarded for, like, being, having tenure, as, the, as it's called? In other words, you've been on the, the platforms for a while, you should already have access and priority over anyone that's new. 
But that's not how it works, folks, because they give these deliveries and everything, the good ones, to all the new people that they're bringing in. And they're clearly trying to get rid of the, the veterans, so to speak, off the platforms. And, and they know that you don't like doing it their way, so now they're going to force this way on you through even more programs. But this time, they might actually be implementing this. I'm not sure. It may be another ploy, a psychological ploy, <clears throat> because obviously if it comes to my area, I'm going to have to test it out to see what the difference is. Be- just like we did, just like I did a year ago over on DoorDash Sex Channel, how I did Top Dasher for a while <clears throat> to see what it was doing, and it didn't make any difference. So under the current state of where you may live, if the program's not been implemented, you should be okay for at least a while. All right, now, let me let me read some more. Um, well, what it's trying to say here is the gold level is, oh, you've unlocked increased priority, VIP dash support. Who cares about support? They suck anyways, right? And uh, let's see. Early access to scheduling. Okay, now this is where it becomes a problem, folks. <clears throat> If you are not doing what they want you to do, they can cut it down so it makes you not be able to make a schedule, okay? Because a lot of these people can schedule up to six days in advance, but what if they made it so if you didn't do some of the things they want you to do, they won't let you schedule or they'll limit you to only a couple days. Then when you go forward in the schedule, you'll say, oh, there's no schedules available. So what does that make you do it? makes you if you're trying to get all that then you have to jump through hoops and um work your way up to this crap uh this is not good folks <clears throat> let me see uh, ex- uh okay acceptance rate uh, it's shown an example here uh look at this guy he has two contract violations acceptance rate 96 percent completion rate 98 4.9 customer rating okay <clears throat> now let me read more here what does it mean for me, if I am one of these existing programs, uh, if if I am in one of these existing programs, these existing programs will no longer be active in our pilot submarkets of Grand Rapids, Corpus Christi, and Lubbock, Texas. Do you hear what they're saying here? These existing programs will no longer be active. He's talking. Uh, they're talking about these top dasher priority access large order program and early access scheduling only if you jump through the hoops to get it um it says um and have been replaced with the new dasher rewards pilot program <clears throat> these programs are still active in all other sub markets so in other words if you're not living in those markets you they're all active so they're they're testing it what do you think they're going to do, folks? They're going to bring it out to the, the whole United States. Where dashes can continue to be eligible when they meet specific qualifications criteria. You hear that? Where dashes can continue to be eligible when they meet specific qualifications criteria. So in other words, you if you're in any of the programs that you're doing currently, folks, you will be X'd out of them supposedly like they you're not going to get any good orders you're not you they'll give you probably the bottom of the barrel and and i i think this time around i think that they're they're serious about it but what does that mean what does that mean for you as a as a top dasher or i mean just a regular dasher that means you you won't be able to cherry pick they're trying to get rid of the cherry pickers like for real and what does that mean oh now you're gonna have to take two and three and four all deliveries with no tip on them no we're not we're not going to have this folks we need to we need to do something about it right lawsuit city folks that's what it is it's going to have to be um let's see okay how does the dasher program rewards uh, let's see how does the dasher reward program pilot work it says once your acceptance rate hold on one second once your acceptance rate is completion rate customer ratings and delivery count qualify for a level you will automatically be eligible for the dasher reward pilot program oh so we have to jump through more hoops 
to become eligible to even get a good order? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> this is um, this is unfair. This is immoral. This is tyrannical. This is communistic. This is there's a whole level to it, folks. Um, and it's it should be illegal what they're doing. Um, you know, no no question about it. So, okay, let me read the rest here. <laughs> this pissed me off, man. I'm telling you. Um, it says, <clears throat> as your ratings change, your newly unlocked rewards will be unlocked within <clears throat> within 48 hours to match your current rewards level. <laughs> so, in other words, <clears throat> we need, <clears throat> pardon me, folks, I got to take a sip of water. Hold on a second, folks. Give me a second here. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it says... <clears throat> It's so in other words, you have to you have to jump through hoops and do all of these things. And then within 48 hours after you've jumped through all the hoops that they want and the requirements that they want you to meet, then they allow you to continue on. So what I think is happening is, for instance, the large order program, right? <clears throat> if you've been getting large orders and they've been getting you by. Because remember I told you on their website, it said large order programs supersedes all other programs. And, you know, I mean, first of all, <laughs> not that I um, think that everyone should be, you know, throttled. I mean, everyone's throttled down, folks. We, we're not making the money we can make. They've overhired. I mean, this is, um, this is insane what they're trying to do. But the thing is, is that the new people who come on, why should they be able to have all of these things that you worked your ass off to do and complete? And plus the fact that you may be, you may have been on for five, six, ten years doing this work. And this is how they reward you to make it even more stringent and more strict. So you, so you can't get what you need to get. I mean, obviously folks, uh, a lot of you are like, you know what, I'm done, I'm out of here, and I, I, I get it. And, you know, I may be following suit too. First off, <clears throat> you know, I have so many other apps, and some of those apps are actually dog walking and cat cat sitting apps and stuff, which I'm going to try to get into in the near future. Um, but because, like, DoorDash is just so saturated, <clears throat> it's like, it's just terrible. But we still, we should be fighting these these people to get the money they ripped off from us in the past, to get better benefits and, uh, well, benefits, get better situations for drivers going forward into the future, <clears throat> which we're all trying hard to do that. So, okay, let me read the rest. For example, if you are in the middle of a dash and accepting an order has increased your acceptance rate to 50%, you have now qualified for silver status and you will you will immediately unlock silver levels reward. Similarly, if you have in the middle of a dash and unassigning from an order has lowered your completion rate below the minimum requirement for silver, you will lose access to the silver level rewards until your ratings have increased uh, to fit the eligibility criteria. So I think, folks, now things do matter or they will matter once they implement these plans. But I think what they're doing, you might say, well, they're a company that can do whatever they want. No, because they're breaking labor laws. They're breaking their, their first of all, they've never even followed the law. When, when New York and California passed those laws, they, look at what happened with Sergio, that he was one of the ones that helped the drivers get paid for what they already owed him from the law being passed. That billion dollar thing, the lawsuit, remember that? It was Back in 2019, they got sued. They Some of these people have never been paid since 2019 what was going on, even back then. So if they're not going to do anything for you then and now, it's no different. It, these are just programs to make DoorDash more rich and you more poor. And so you so it'll it'll eradicate the drivers that are like, okay, I've had it. I've thrown my hands up in the air. I'm done. I'm all done with DoorDash. And they love that because now all the new people coming in will be a new wave of brainwashing 
uh, campaigns for all of the new people, which to follow that bullshit. Okay, let me see. Uh, where is the program available? Currently, this program pilot is available in Grand Rapids, Corpus Christi, and Lubbock, Texas. What happens if if I dash outside the selective markets? The Dash Rewards pr- pilot is only available in Grand Rapids, Corpus Christi, and Lubbock, Texas. Those per- perks are only active when dashing in these in these areas. Why would you even want to dash there? I mean, you, most people probably just want to quit. Um, okay, so here's the rewards levels. You have to, for silver, you have to maintain a 50% acceptance rate, 95% completion rate, 4.5 custom rating, and 50 uh, lifetime deliveries completed. The gold is 70%, which is top dash it, right? They'd love that. 95% completion, 4.5 customer, and then the same thing, 50%. Now, platinum, right? 70%, 95, 4.7. They want a 4.7 customer rating. A 100 deliveries in the in the last 30 days plus 50 lifetime deliveries. So in other words, if you're new and you don't have 50 deliveries, well, first of all, that doesn't make any sense because 100 deliveries in the last, if you have 100, you're going to have that. That doesn't make any sense why they put that there. But it's it's just, it's a lot of bullshit, folks. Um, they're trying to get rid of cherry pickers and they're trying to get rid of people who have found out their system. This is a way to screw everyone. Okay. <clears throat> he says, I just, uh, it says, um, the question I just started on to DoorDash. I'm new. How does this program work for me? For dashes who just joined DoorDash and have completed less than 50 deliveries, we understand that it takes time to learn how to use the platform. Yeah. With no help to DoorDash. Cause they, they're not going to tell you, they'd love you to take every delivery and make yourself poor because if gas price, all right, do the do the simple math, folks. This is for the new people. If you're paying four dollars a gallon in gas and your car gets twenty miles to the gallon, right? Let's just say it does. If you get an order that sends you out, say twenty miles, ten dollars for twenty miles. Do the math on that. And I'm being generous because some of them are four twenty five, three seventy five. No tip. They want you to go twenty miles, right? Some of them, not all the time. If you do that, you're not even making money, folks. You're you're in the negative. You you will be negative because 20 miles, right? Uh, And you get a 275, 325. You you have to pay for the gas. You did it for free. Just just do the math once in a while, folks, all right? (laughs) Okay, so it says to help, um, let's see. To help get off to a great start, new dashes will have access to special perks like dash anytime. Pri- yeah, oh, it's a perk, all right. Priority access to high-paying orders. Ooh, and, via- and what's a high-paying order? Oh, they, they'll tell you $4.25 is a high-paying order with a diamond. Uh, what is it? I like what Gig Giza says. He says uh, carbon crystals. We're working for carbon crystals, right? A piece of paper that tells you you have a diamond. <laughs> if they gave me real diamonds, that'd be different, right? Uh, let's see. Priority access to high-paying orders. VI, VIP support on your first 50 deliveries. <laughs> After you've completed your first 50 deliveries, you'll now be eligible to qualify for a Dasher Rewards program with, with Dasher Rewards, you'll be able to unlock multiple levels of the same perks and more and more, all thanks to high-quality deliveries. Oh, as if we don't give high-quality deliveries now. This is a joke, folks. Complete joke. You could track your pro- progress in the ratings tab. What rewards do I get from being a part of this program? Depending on your current level, the rewards that's that we are offering... Ah, priority access to high-paying orders. This perk gives the qualifying dashes priority for high-paying orders. The dashes who have unlocked this will get priority access. Will increase your likelihood of seeing high-paying order. Dashes will get even a higher priority as their reward status increases across silver, gold, and platinum. I mean, folks, could you not see this coming? I told everyone. I mean, I told you all of the even even shipped even Instacart has the same same reward levels all of these things it's the same thing every single app has has this type of of activity to screw you (laughs) 
Um, let's see. VIP support. You'll have Dash v- VI support at your fingertips to resolve your issues when you reach out to Dash to support. Oh, oh, they're really resolving our issues. We tell them what we want, and they do nothing to, to, to rectify it. Uh, let's see. Advanced scheduling. Oh, here we go. You can you can schedule up to six days in advance, the beginning at 3 p.m. Each day, each day, which I can already do now. But here's the kicker, folks. They want to take that away from you. In other words, if you're not going to do the program that they want you to do, then you aren't going to work for DoorDash. This is their way of firing you without actually firing you because they know that if they deactivated thousands, hundreds of thousands of us all at once and said, you're out of here, like especially people who've been on like three or four more, three more or more years, right? <clears throat> that we would all, we'd all, most of us would band together and just do an, We would, it'd be like a, re, a re revolution. Okay. I don't understand why people aren't revolting now and doing everything they can to change the system. Cause this, this is tyrannical. This is bad. This is bad folks. Now, the the easy answer is to quit and move on to something else, which I think a lot of us are going to do. I think this is what they want. This is what they know that people will mostly do. But the hardcore people who care will fight against this and try to do everything they can. We're fighting an uphill battle, folks, but we can win it if we were all in it. Be in it to win it, as they say, right? All right, let me see. Uh... What rewards do I get from being a part of the program? Oh, I mean, this is all crap. I'm just going to scroll. Uh, advanced scheduling, blah, 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 days advanced. So if, in other words, if you don't do, if you're in this, if you're a silver, they won't let you advance schedule. Do you see that? It's not checked off. You can't even be, they want you to be a gold. What is a gold? Basically top dasher. It's just another way to mask top, top dasher. But this time, they may be serious about doing it. So what we're going to have to do is test it when it comes to our markets. Test the cherry picking and then go through the, the inhumane act of trying to become what they want you to become to see if it makes any difference. My guess is it's not going to make any difference, folks. Because if there isn't a whole lot of people ordering large orders, large order program stuff, even if you're in that... How are you going to get one anyways? Um, they've It's diminished in my area anyways. I still get them, but it's it's crazy. Remember I told you fairness for all? This is not fairness for all. This is segregation for all. To segregate the people that they don't like or that they hate that's cherry picking. This is to get rid of us, folks. This is what this is all about. VIP support. Right? You don't get that if you're a silver. Who cares? Support sucks anyways. Access to large orders. Guess what? You have. They want you to be a platinum. So in other words, in order for you to stay in, it's not enough for you to have just a catering bag anymore. They want you to have your catering bags and then do, as a good little slave, do what DoorDash wants you to do in order to maintain all this. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Dash anytime. Okay, you're going to have to be a platinum to dash any time. Platinum, I believe. Yeah, see that? Platinum, not even a gold. They want you to have platinum status, right? This is bullshit, I'll tell you. What are high-paying orders? High-paying orders are some of these highest-paying... Uh, high, I'll, I'll give you my definition. What are high-paying orders? High-paying orders are what we tell you are high-paying orders, so we can brainwash you to take every low-tip and no-tip order. That's what a high-paying order is. <laughs> I, yeah, this is nuts. Oh, man. Look at this crap, huh? Uh, let's see. How is the program different from Top Dasher? In areas where the Top Dasher program pilot is live, existing programs like Top Dasher will no longer be live. Did you hear that? That means they're taking away... T so all of you suckers out there that were doing Top Dasher and thought that, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Now, you, now you're going to be even more of a sucker and do more of what they want? Some of you, you might, it might not affect because you, you're already suckers. <laughs> I hate to tell you. But that's what you are if you're doing Top Dasher. They will be replaced with the new Dasher Rewards pilot program to unlock similar benefits to what was available in Top Dasher. You must reach platinum status by completing at least 100 dashes in 30 days 
and maintain at least a 4.7 customer rating, 70% acceptance rate, and 95% completion rate. When you qualify for the platinum level, you will unlock existing Top Dasher perks. Top da- uh, Dash anytime, VIP support, blah, 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 blah. Unlike the existing Top Dasher program, which looks looks at criteria qualifications at 11.59 at the last day of the month, this new Top Dasher, this new Dasher reward program works on rolling qualifications window. So, I, you know, I think, folks, that they're, they're serious. Like, this isn't no joke. They're going to implement this. And what does that mean for a lot of you who have been maintaining certain types of money and stuff? Well, you're going to either qu- have to quit, go along with it, go on another app somewhere. And, and is that even the best choice? Maybe we all should get W-2s. I don't know. Um, this means that your new eligible rewards will be unlocked automatically and will remain active as long as your rating stays within the requirements. All right. And how do they keep you in, in that status? You know, they're going to send you no tip and low tip orders all the time, folks. Oh, they'll give you an occasional decent one, but like it's, this is brutal. This is, this is insane. Um, says, how can I check my rating and level? You can always look for the ratings in the top dash. Blah, 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 blah. Once I qualify for that level, how long will it take for me to begin to receive those rewards? Once you qualify, your eligible rewards will be unlocked and remain active as long as your ratings stay within the requirements for your level. Some rewards will take up to 24 and 48 hours. Blah, blah, blah. What happens if my acceptance rate, completion rate, or customer drops? If it drops, you're screwed, basically. They're just going to take it away from you. Uh, can I still decline orders? Dashes can always accept and decline offers based on their personal preferences. This program simply offers rewards to Dashes who, at minimum, maintain a customer rating of 4.5. Okay, I want to note, too, that Deliver That, the app called Deliver That, and probably Delivered. I haven't never used Delivered, but Deliver That. They implemented these these uh, gold and platinum and silver programs recently, too, within the past year. And, you know, I don't even really do deliver that much anymore because I used to get offers all the time coming through my phone in the form of text. But now that app has become saturated and they're doing the same thing. They're calling it the elite program and whatever else, you know. (laughs) Now, let me see. How does the completion rate reset work? As we introduce the Dasher pilot program in new areas, Dashers who have qualifying acceptance rate and customer ratings have the opportunity to start fresh by res- resetting their completion rate. Completion rate with the percentage of successfully delivered orders out of 100. Most recent acceptance in your order reset of completion rate. So they're going to they're gonna offer the same reset that they did like six months, eight months ago. Remember that, folks? <clears throat> when they gave you a chance to reset. Tap the link in your email, blah, blah, and you must... Uh, must be the recipient of the email to the subject line. Here is your chance to reset your completion rate. So they're going to send you a link. Uh, Let's see. Once the completion rate has been reset uh, and processed, we'll clear clear your completion rate history as you build up your new completion rate. <clears throat> what happens if I don't want to... You know what it is? I think, too, folks, they've been watching channels like mine, DoorDash, and these other ones that we don't like it, and they know that what we've been reporting, they don't like. So now they now they really are changing the system. <laughs> it's a it's a joke, isn't it? They, they actually change their system based on what's being set out in the community. <clears throat> Partially, anyways. Let's see. Uh, these... Any other terms and conditions I should know about? We may modify or end the program at any time for any reason. And eligibility is not guaranteed. We reserve the right to delay payment for purposes of investigation to withhold payment or close the accounts of any DASHA if we determine in our sole discretion that the DASHA has used or attempted to use this pilot in a fraudulent, abusive way or otherwise suspicious. What they're doing, folks, is all illegal. It's all illegal. It's... um. It's, uh, I don't know the legal terms right now in my head, but it's illegal and it's fraudulent what they're doing. Disclaimer, DoorDash may modify or qualify terms, rewards offered available in markets at any time. 
The Dash Rewards program is currently being offered as a pilot program. The certain rewards and features available in, in the locations. You understand that DoorDash may terminate or modify the program, including without limitation. What rewards are, how you earn them, and duration of availability of the program at any time in DoorDash Souls Discretion. Check the Dash app to determine blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. So I read the, pretty much the whole thing to you. Now let's move on to Zach's, Zach's video here. It's funny, as I went to play this video just before I, because I paused it real quick to jump into this video uh, with Zach Drives Fast. Big shout out to him for doing his video. I, you know, I was going to play this at the beginning, but I wanted to read stuff, but I want you to hear what he has to say. But uh, it's funny how they played a DoorDash ad. It says, oh, I'm so happy I signed up for DoorDash. I'm making all kinds of money and everything. I mean, it's such lies and propaganda on these um these ads that DoorDash runs and it's it's going to be a lot worse with these with the when they if they implement this you know but we have to do something about it folks but the big the biggest thing is the people who are not the top dashers and these people right we're not supposedly going to be able to schedule like we want to uh they won't give you access to it so what are they essentially doing they're cutting you off from your job you have every right to go after them uh and sue them in court for this you know folks definitely if if this happens to you when this happens to you or maybe you want to prepare for it if it's not in your your area there's only three areas they're testing it now if this doesn't work out where they're at and they start get that's why they do these pilot programs to see who's going to go after them or not and if enough people fight back and say, this is tyranny, we're not taking this shit, then they'll back off and maybe just keep everything <laughs> mediocre. But, I mean, w they have no reason not to, to, to do it to you because they've always, already gotten away with a lot of stuff already, right? All right, let me play Zach Drives Fast video. Now, Hannibal is Hungry's channel did, did one recently, too. He basically followed after Zach. And he put his... Everyone has a their own perspective or what they think is the right thing. Uh, I'm with the drivers, folks. I don't, I'm not a fluffer, not a channel. The only, I only like a very few channels and, uh, and I'm not calling Hannibal a fluffer, not a, but he is monetized and he kind of goes in between a little bit, let's say on stuff. Um, so I don't agree with him on everything, but if you want to check out his his video, it's called New DoorDash Pay Model, Dash Rewards Will Stop, okay? Now, Zach Drives Fast. I love his channel. Gig Geezer, uh, Uber, uh, Uber Jeep Arizona, Quit Working for Less. You, you guys know Lex, uh, Driving with Lexi. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of channels I like, uh, but you know the fluffer and other ones, all right? Zach is a really good one. So let's roll the video. It's only six minutes long. Here we go. DoorDash seems to be testing something new, driver tiers. We're going to talk about what that means for you and who it's going to screw over. All right, guys, I'm sick, so bear in there with me, but we need to talk about this because there's already bad information flooding YouTube about the subject. I want you to pause the video and tell me in the comments section what your acceptance rate is. Before we get into the driver tiers, I need to give you a disclaimer first. I haven't been able to verify a single market that this is in. So with that said, I'm not sure if this is part of their test program or if this is only in one or two markets currently. With that said, I am satisfied that this is a real thing because I've seen multiple screenshots from multiple different devices. I had several of you hitting me up asking me about this, but I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Kevin Mangold. He was the first one to put me onto it. So, what's changing? Well, it appears that DoorDash is now assigning program levels to drivers similar to Uber Eats or Grubhub. These program levels are silver, gold, and platinum. <laughs> so, what does that mean for you? Well, not much. Usually when DoorDash pulls something new, I'm the guy to get on YouTube and point out every little flaw in the program that could potentially screw drivers. But this time, not much is really changing. I want to make it clear. I'm approaching this based on my own understanding with the tiny bit of information that's currently out well, there. Let's take a look. I, I do have to agree with him on that. After I read through what I read, obviously, in on the, the we can't really believe everything that DoorDash says because they're a bunch of liars. But it was right on their website, <clears throat> what I read to you guys earlier in the video. So apparently, I mean, in my opinion, they are definitely going to try to screw over people big time. I mean, there's no question. Because they, I mean, first off, they should never have been allowed to hire the, the millions and millions. There's probably about 40, 
I'd say about 40, 45 million drivers now on just on DoorDash alone. Uh, and out of the, the 45 million, there's probably at least 15 to 25 million that are active. They lie to you when they say, oh, there's two to four million drivers on DoorDash. They're, they're liars. They are absolute liars. Everyone I bump into, hey, I'm on DoorDash, you driving? You know, I bump into people all the time. As, as I can't prove it to you folks, trust me, if, the, if they're not going to disclose the actual information, you know they're hiding that. They, they're hiring people all the time. People get influenced and they're like, oh, I want to make money. None of us are going to make any money with, with the programs they're in, implementing. We're all going broke and they're going bankrupt eventually. Ba- DoorDash will go bankrupt. I guarantee it. it. It's not a sustainable practice. It's not sustainable. And what they'll end up doing is bringing in the robots and everything else in the future. Or that's what they want to try to do. Whether they'll do it and be successful, who knows. Remember the, the robotic programs I told you about. All right, continue. Get some screenshots and discuss these tiers a little bit. Let's start with silver. To be a silver driver, you need an acceptance rate of at least 50%, a completion rate of at least 90%, and a customer rating of at least 45 This is going to get you access to high-paying orders as well as early scheduling. This is the freaking diamond program with one small caveat. You now need a 50% acceptance rate for early scheduling. Quick funny story about the early scheduling part. Over this last summer, I called Window DoorDash testing and acceptance rate requirement for early scheduling in select markets, and I did a video about it. Another content. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now, folks. The day that I go on there, and I can't schedule because I'm not 50 percent or whatever. If if I can, I don't care about the other stuff. I'm going to cherry pick my ass off. I'm going to cherry pick all the time. But if they, if I get on one day and I cannot schedule for another day going out the way I've been doing it. <clears throat> I mean, court city, at least small claims court uh, to sue them in. We have to do it, folks. You, If you're going to stay in this game, you got to do it. You have to. All of us have to. Creator did a video based on my video <laughs> and essentially called me fake news. But was it fake news or was I just ahead of the curve? Anyway, moving on to gold tier. This requires you to have an acceptance rate of at least 70% completion rate of at least 90% and a customer rating of at least 4.5. This is top dasher. You get the same garbage you get in the silver tier, but now you get access to VIP dasher support. I'd like to point out anything past green on Uber eats and they'll pay freaking 100% of your college tuition. Uh, Just college tuition. Who cares? Uh, That's on Uber. But anyways, just to note, I remember um, me and Mr. Corinthians uh, one of the su- subscribers here in the channel, you guys all know him, and also over on DoorDash Sucks channel. But anyways, we were talking about how he had been 100% for a long time, <clears throat> and he's like, hey, I'm waiting to get that English-speaking um, VIP support like they told us we would. Because I remember hearing multiple people say, oh, if once you're 100%, you don't have to deal with the overseas <clears throat> VIP support the customer support, you'll now get English speaking people. And that's, that's a complete lie because it, it it never gave him, it never rerouted him to, um, to any English speaking people. It was all people who you couldn't understand on the phone. So I just want to point that out. All right, continue. And DoorDash meanwhile (laughs) is offering you VIP access. Not that that's even the claim to a group of people who don't comprehend what you're saying the first time you say it, but Hey, If you're a fan of copy and paste responses, then this might be a perk for you. I want to pause here for a moment. If you're talking to support so often that you feel like this is actually a perk, then you need to reevaluate what you're doing as a driver. I talk to support maybe once every two to three months. And when I do, it's either because it directly affects my money or I'm covering my own ass. Let's move on to the big leagues. Platinum. To achieve the distinguished role of a platinum driver, you'll need at least a 70% acceptance rate a 95% completion rate, a customer rating of at least 4.7, and at least 100 deliveries in the last month. This is Top Dasher, but this is also where a majority of the changes are. Being a Platinum driver will give you the ability to dash now whenever you want, as well as access to the large order program. I want to be clear. As it's- Oh, so now, okay, saying access to large orders... I already have access. I've had access. I've never. They've never stopped it. I get the ones that say, "Hey, use your catering bag for this order." And when I drop off, it's usually. A, uh, I've never got anything pretty much less than fifteen bucks, from what 
what the real lodge orders are, okay? It's not, you know, they used to call it the catering program, but not not only businesses and not many people are using, you know, actual real lodge orders. These orders, all they are is a way for DoorDash to hold back good paying orders <clears throat> for dashes who, who should get them uh, no matter what. Hold on one second, folks. Okay, continuing. So <clears throat> it's just a way for them to hold back good paying deliveries <clears throat> to to drivers. <clears throat> but then you would ask yourself, okay, so who who should get good paying orders? Well, I think the ones who work the hardest, been out stay out the longest, right? Well, but on the other hand, um, you know, see I have my own quirks about a lot of things, okay? And because I'm a full timer, you know, I am of the old school of, you know, working hard and getting getting some merit and being paid maybe a little bit better than some other people if you're doing a better job, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. Let's face it. All it is is delivering bags of food to people's houses, right? But we're using our cars. We're using our own gas, blah, 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 blah yada, 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 whatever you want to say. But the thing is... <clears throat> How about the people who've been on for a long time, for years and years and years? Don't they deserve to get more of something because they've proved themselves? Especially if you, like, let's just talk about Nova Dasher real quick, okay? He got supposedly deactivated, okay? And now he's doing some other apps anyways. It's not like that's going to affect him. <laughs> but he was at 21,000. He got de deactivated. He had all high ranks, right? Been doing it for a while. But they deactivated him. They would love to deactivate all of us folks because they don't like the fact that you're not taking um, no tip and low tip uh, deliveries. You keep declining, declining, and this is this is the reason they're rolling it out. We we all know we any good dasher, long standing dasher knows, or any driver knows that it's a ploy for them to continue the bullshit. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, I disagree with uh, with Zach a little bit here because he's. Like he was saying that, oh, he doesn't think it's going to change anything. I think it is going to change things, but we need to stop it from making those changes. That's what we need to do. Anyways, continuing. Ends now. Being a top dasher does not give you access to better orders in the vast majority of markets, nor does it guarantee you a spot in the back large that order up. program. Let me just back the that ability up. to dash now whenever you want, we go. as well as access to the large order he's program. He's talking about, yeah, he's talking about the platinum status. Okay. Platinum status, which is basically top dash, blah, blah, blah. But now the caveat is them pulling out, in other words, not allowing people who are in large order program to be in the, see, because before you had to be invited to it, right? <clears throat> or you had to call up and complain like I did for a long time and, you know, for months and months and months. It took me a year to get into large order program. Now they're going to let all these people, so guess what? Let's go back to, and I, I have to agree with what Pedro did say months and year, a year ago. If everyone is in the large order program, then no one is in the large order program. <laughs> the programs are only meant to get you to take the low tip and no tip orders out because no one wants to take them and they're not profitable in most cases. So this is where they're going to get rid of the people who don't want to do it. I mean, this is the bottom line. And if you can't schedule, then how are you going to get on the app? See, with Uber Eats, you can get on anytime you want, right? Any any time of day and just hit go. But Uber Eats is not very pre uh, preferable over in my market. It, it, it sucks. And, and not only that, but it's just terrible orders one after another. I want to be clear. As it stands now, being a top dasher does not give you access to better orders in the vast majority of markets. That's right. Nor does it guarantee... Did you hear, you hear what he said? Top dasher does not get you access to high priority, uh, I mean, good paying orders. It doesn't. It, it makes you take more of the shitty ones and occasionally, yes, you'll get one. Because <clears throat> what I've been doing is cherry picking and I, I'll like decline. It might take me 15 declines to get a good order, but it'll come through. Yeah, because I'll it's it's the computer is seeing how long you've been sitting around, and then it tries to get you that twenty to twenty five bucks an hour rating that it says right. Because I've been noticing that <clears throat> it's like in my market, it's between thirteen, seventeen, and twenty an hour. 
it fluctuates, okay? But the hourly rate you can't base anything on because that's not how much you're really making. It's way less than that, folks, after expenses. You a spot in the large order program. These changes are only true if DoorDash rolls this out to your market specifically. And remember, at the time of filming this video, I couldn't find a single driver that has this in their market yet. So don't assume that your high acceptance rate is all of a sudden going to start generating huge orders for you. Currently, you need an invite for the large order program, and this has largely stopped the program from becoming oversaturated. But from the looks of it, yeah. that's about to change. Exactly, because they're going to open it up to just about anyone. So going back to the old adage, if you're if everyone's in a large order program, which it's not even they're not even large orders, all it's going to do is open the floodgates <coughs> to to the ones that you might have got because you were segregated in that program and now it's going to open it up to everyone which which was my original thought anyways that fairness for all but the problem is not fairness for the entire i mean in other words not open it up to the entire america where every person because if everyone's driving and delivering uh you ain't going to make any money you might as well just quit i guess right that's what they want us to do anyways right folks let me know in the comments what you think, by the way. In my opinion, the only drivers that are actually going to get shafted by this change <laughs> are those who are already in the large order program. Exactly. You're potentially about to see a bunch of new drivers right there with you, which means that your priority to higher paying orders will mean jack shit. Yep. And for those of you in medium to smaller markets, do not assume that your high acceptance rate is going to start generating you these huge orders from the large order program. The orders have to exist in the first place for you to get them. The large order program is for catering orders, and that can play out very well for drivers in the program in big markets. <laughs> Think cities that have a lot of companies that are ordering for a ton of employees, or a city where there's a lot of events held. But don't think that your market of 10,000 people or less is all of a sudden going to start making you five times more. It just isn't realistic. That's this is right. especially true if you need to be a top dasher to get any hours in your market. Every other driver in your market is probably right there with you. And again, your priority will mean jack shit. And, and, and another thing, just backing up to the scheduling part, like right now in my market, every day at 3 o'clock, when 3 o'clock rolls around, I automatically, it's like, night and day just turn it on a switch i always go in and i schedule even if i'm an hour late you want to schedule as early as you can because those schedules could be gone if you wait a few days after the schedule has come out for that if you've been keeping this a, a six five to six day schedule you'll lose the ability to get that schedule okay but what did what they are now what i'm assuming they're going to do now is they're going to make it so you can't schedule six days out. And then if you can't do that, how are you going to get on a schedule? You're going to have to like just take whatever they, what they can, what they, what's offered. They might only have half hour blocks. And what are you going to do? Okay, I'll come on for a half hour. Then, then the half hour goes by and it's done and you're done for the day. No, a lot of us are doing this full time. And they know this, folks. This is a way to get rid of the full timers too and, and just keep only part timers. And I, and I mean, I, I know a lot of you are part-time, and I, you know, forgive me for saying this, but like a lot of, and some of you have been on for a while, and some of you have been on even before me, l long before me. But the part-timers take away from the full-time people that need to make the money they need to make. I mean, it's just a f fact of life. Um, and then all of the additional people that they've hired screw up even that for the part-timers who are on because now the part-timers are saying, hey, I can't even make what I was making part-time because now there's too many drivers in my market. And now they're going to implement this bullshit? All right, continuing. I want to take a moment to discuss who this change won't affect. Cherry pickers and multi-appers. This change is mainly a fancy user interface update with a few small changes thrown in there to help DoorDash get bad orders delivered. The only drivers that this is really going to affect are those who are already in the large order program. And my heart goes out to you and your actual priority. I, I agree with you on that, Zach, if you happen to listen to this. I love your channel, love your vids, man. Keep making them. I disagree with you. I mean, I agree with you on the large order thing. It's going to screw people up. But I disagree that it's not going to affect cherry pickers. I, I believe it is. Um, we haven't seen it yet, so we can't make a judgment on it. That's just my own opinion. Uh, but what do you guys think in the comments below, right? Which, you know, please let me know. And Zach, too, if you if you come to the video. And by the way, all credit goes to him for his, his video here. All right, we're almost finished to higher paying orders that soon will be a thing of the past so who does this actually benefit 
at the end of the day, only DoorDash. Yep. Again, they're getting more orders delivered without having to compensate us reasonably for them. Exactly. If I were you, I would not change a thing about how you approach DoorDash. If you cherry pick, keep cherry picking. Exactly. If you need to be a top dasher to get any hours in your market, I get that too. DoorDash tries to trick and manipulate drivers through status symbols, badges, and fancy programs. Right? I mean, I mean, it could be it could be as simple as that, folks. I'm hoping that it is. Maybe it's just another ploy, another tactic they're using. But we we will see boots on the ground. We'll we'll know. I mean, you're going to know if you're affected or not. I mean, of course, if the program comes to my area, I'm going to have to attempt to to do it again just to to see if it's if it makes a difference, which I'm I'm guessing that this time it will but doesn't mean we have to take it folks you can fight back all right continuing than adequately compensating us for the work we're doing don't fall for it it's all smoke and mirrors i am dying to hear your thoughts please do leave them in the comment section as time goes on and i learn more about these driver tiers i'll probably make another video and this is especially true if i got any of my information wrong if you haven't done so yet Okay, so that was Zach Drives Fast channel. Awesome channel. Make sure you guys go over and sub to him. Sorry about my voice and everything. It's just uh, the uh, pollen and the, the smoke from the fires and stuff over the past week or two has just decimated my lungs. <clears throat> so you have to forgive me for that, folks. But um, anyways, cheerio, as they say. <laughs> Hope you all having a good day, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Uh, make sure you pass the information around. And at least now, uh, there's documentation that we have on video now of the things I read to you. I basically read that whole entire thing. I, you know, I skipped a few parts, but not not much. It's it's ridiculous, isn't it, folks? What they're trying to do. So, anyways, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.